My students wholeheartedly know that Miss Helen needs to have her morning coffee, and it is a venti <laughs> cup from Starbucks. It cannot be a tall, it cannot be grande, but it has to be a venti. Um. <laughs> what kind of tax? What do you need? Once Palo Alto teacher Katie Hellum has her morning Joe, she's ready to share her story and her knowledge with her fifth grade students, many she says she can empathize with. Once your students see that, hey, you are human, you're not perfect, it, um, it changes their, their perspective when it comes to school. Hellum hopes her honesty and transparency will help her students realize anything is possible. I was not the smartest. I didn't understand a lot just because you know, I we you know, I moved around. They they seem that they can come forward to me and, and you know and tell me their struggles and, and so I feel like in the long run it does motivate them and inspire them to be like, you know what, Miss Helen, you know, she, you know, felt the type of way with math, you know, when she was young like me. But that doesn't stop her from being a math teacher when she's older. As she continues to find ways to teach math, Helen makes sure to stay connected to technology and new apps like TikTok. I'm like, you know what, maybe I can make a TikTok video about math. Helen says she continues to be inspired by her fellow teachers and learns a lot from them. I feel like everyone kind of has contributed to my, you know, my teacher tool belt. While Helen says her biggest challenge is finding a home and life work balance, she insists she wouldn't have it any other way. This is the most rewarding career, I mean, I could ever have. Congratulations, Katie Helen.